how this all kind of came about is well, I've raced motocross kind of my whole life and uh, I was about 14 years old and I really didn't want to quit racing when the winter came and so um, my dad he had some connections at Articat because he used to race so he called Mike Cletty and sure enough a week later we, we found a sled and went racing. A few years things just started progressing and um, yeah took off really good. I was able to win a championship and some pro wins. Moving from Michigan um, over here, it obviously makes life a lot easier um, having our own practice track and having everything right at our disposal whenever we need it. Um, it definitely makes life easy. You know, in the past years past, we've had to travel to the practice track uh, daily, and uh, this is kind of like right in our backyard. So it, it makes it it makes it really easy, and um, definitely, yeah. I mean, we're going to be putting in as many laps as possible up to the first race, and then even in between, um, you know, just maximizing our time for sure. And makes it easy that it's so close. Yeah, coming back home to Articat and being surrounded by this this new team and went above and beyond in every way, it is, uh, yeah, it's super motivating because they want to win just as bad as I do. And that's something that like I've, I've wanted my whole career and now I finally have it. Definitely this year, uh, we've got a lot of tools, uh, a lot more tools in the toolbox for success. Um, you know, my teammate, uh, Daniel Benham being one of them, to have somebody day in and day out to push me at the top level because I would say that uh, Dan and I on our best days are uh, winners in the pro class. So to have us two together pushing each other, that's like, that's like dynamic duo kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So uh, definitely will push me to be a better racer. Um, he's savvy in his own ways and, uh, and vice versa, right? Famously named the Daytona of Snowcross. First rounds welcomed the teams to Canterbury Park. Moving from Boss Racing to Thien Motorsports, three-time champion Elias Ischel each year has proven that the bar will be raised yet again. like Elias. We really just got to be better than he is on his uh, on his not amazing days. He's got some crazy days and those are the days he's gonna win, right? Yeah, definitely growing up riding an Articat, I think my style kind of just developed to that sled um, and that was more of like a smooth calculated um, I guess style you could say. Well racing with Elias is yeah, it's, it's a tough one because when he's on and he's going fast, I mean, it's tough to match his speed just because he kind of bonsai through a lot of things. fashion all doubts were silenced winning the first two rounds and leaving a lot of pressure and high expectations for the whole factory arctic cat team but round one was not the weekend all finish racing was looking for and round two spelled the same results moving forward to rounds three and four jake and dan seek to redeem themselves in dubuque iowa so yeah we're here in dubuque uh, we're coming out of Shakopee, we didn't have the best weekend, and we definitely were behind the bubble a little bit. Did a lot of testing and it didn't quite show, but we worked pretty hard this week. All day Tuesday, it was a long day, did a lot of testing and found some really good stuff, so we're, we're hoping for some really good results. Dan has got some really fast lap times. He on the fastest lap in that second practice on the last lap, so we're looking for some really good stuff tonight.
Yeah, so, so what drives me mostly uh, like to be a professional athlete and to be at the top of uh, the sport of snowcross gets to prove people wrong. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of do uh, doubters and haters and uh, there's a lot of people that are obviously like supporters and they're the reason that I'm here. But uh, there's a lot of people that are haters and, and uh, it, it feels great to prove people wrong. Results in 2021 left a lot of doubt and displacency in the mind, failing to live up to his self expectations. Moving to Fargo, where temps are below freezing, and it will be the biggest change of his career to help escalate his confidence in training. Yeah, it makes me really excited to come back to it because I, I, I can ride it like I feel like I should ride a snowmobile. Um, and yeah, so the sleds are completely, they're drastically different, really. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say one's better than the other. It's just they're they're good in their own ways and they're bad in their own ways. With stints of better results from both riders, the team was looking to breathe new life into the title chase. But even after leaving everything on the table, all finished racing fell short once again. <laughs> 